Okay, in this problem, we're asked to calculate the third order Taylor polynomial of f of xy around the point 1, 0. And we're given that f of xy is the function e to the x squared plus y squared. And we're given from a previous exercise, we know that the second order Taylor polynomial of f of xy around the point 1, 0 is e plus 2e times the quantity x minus 1 plus 3e times the quantity x minus 1 squared plus e times y squared. And again, from that same exercise, we determined that f sub x x is equal to 2 times the quantity 1 plus 2x squared times e to the x squared plus y squared. f sub x y is 4xy times e to the x squared plus y squared. And f sub y y is equal to 2 times the quantity 1 plus 2y squared times e to the x squared plus y squared. Okay, so we know that given our second order Taylor polynomial, we want to find the third order. So we can take the second order Taylor polynomial and add on term 1 over 3 factorial times the third total derivative of f at the point 1, 0 with respect to x minus 1, y. And we know that then the third total derivative of f, we know the equation for that, which is And that's the sum from k equals 0 to 3 of 3 choose k times the mixed partial derivatives of f, where we derive, take the derivative of f with respect to x, k times, and then with respect to y, 3 minus k times. And we're going to evaluate those mixed partial derivatives at the point 1, 0. And then multiplying that by the quantity x minus 1 to the power of k and multiplying y by the power or multiplying by y raised to the power of 3 minus k. Okay, so we're going to need to know the third mixed partial derivatives. So we can go ahead and write them all out. So we have f sub y cubed, f sub y squared x, f sub y x squared, and f sub x cubed, where y cubed means to take the partial derivative of f with respect to y three times. Okay, so we can use our information from a previous exercise to determine what these mixed partial derivatives are. So for f sub y cubed, we're going to take the mix, or we're going to take the partial derivative of f sub y y with respect to y. So we get So we have 8y times e to the power of x squared plus y squared plus 4y times the quantity 1 plus 2y squared times e to the x squared plus y squared. And we're going to evaluate this at the point 1, 0. So 
we see that there's a y in both of our terms. So our partial derivative is 0 at that point. And then we can use f sub y, y again to compute f sub y, y, x, which is the partial derivative of f sub y, y with respect to x. So we get four x times the quantity one plus two y squared times e to the x squared plus y squared. And again, we're going to evaluate this at the point one zero. So we see that we have four times one, which is just four. And then e is raised to the power of one. So we get four e is the value at the point one zero. Okay. Now we can take f sub x, x and use that to compute f sub y, x, x by taking the partial derivative of f sub x, x with respect to y. So we get 4y times the quantity 1 plus 2x squared times e to the x squared plus y squared. Our whole term is multiplied by y, so at the point 1, 0, a partial derivative is 0. And our last partial derivative that we need to compute is f sub x, 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 which means that we're going to take the partial derivative of f sub x, x with respect to x. And we get 8x times e raised to the power of x squared plus y squared plus 4x times the quantity 1 plus 2x squared times e to the x squared plus y squared. And again, we're going to evaluate this at the point 1, 0. So we see that we have 8e as our first term. Our second term is going to be 4 times 3, which is 12. And then again, we have e raised to the power of 1, so we have 12e. So we have a plus 12e, which is 20e. So we see that we have two zero terms. So we can, in expanding out our total derivative equation, we can just omit the f sub y cubed and the f sub y x squared terms. So we have 3. So we have 3 choose 1 times 4e times y squared times x minus 1 is our first term. And then we have when k is equal to 3, so we have three choose three times 20 e times the quantity x minus one cubed. We know that three choose one is three, so then three times four is 12. And 3 choose 3 is 1. So we have that our total derivative of f at the point 1, 0 with respect to x minus 1, y is 12e y squared times x minus 1 plus 20e times x minus 1 cubed. So we see that in our equation for our third order Taylor polynomial, we're going to have 1 over 3 factorial times this term the total derivative. 
So 1 over 3 factorial is 1 sixth. And so we can multiply this term by 1 sixth. Or I'll write it. So we have 1 6 times the total derivative, which is equal to 2ey squared times x minus 1 plus 10 thirds e times the quantity x minus 1 cubed. Okay, so we can go ahead and just substitute that into our equation. So we have So we have our third degree Taylor polynomial is given as our second degree Taylor polynomial plus 2EY squared times the quantity x minus 1 plus 10 thirds E times the quantity x minus 1 cubed.